we have a current source like this, we have a capacitor like this, and we go like this, this is C. The energy in joules, so I'll put a little J there, E equals half CV squared in uh, joules. So how do we actually derive that equation? Well, it's probably more than one way to skin a cat here, but uh, this is how I'm gonna look at it. Let's say we've got a constant current source, that's what this symbol is, to drive in the capacitor like this. So we're actually going to get a graph T here, and this is V. Actually, there's no uh, you know, exponential increase. It's actually a linear increase like that. So a voltage like this, we get to, a, well, let's just call that T here, okay? So here's where we start to derive this thing. I T, so the instantaneous current is equal to C dV dT. And that's just the change in a voltage over time, which is what we've actually drawn here. So now we can say energy equals power times time, right? <laughs> that's just fundamental. But power can be the actual, the average value here which is actually going to be half. It's uh, you just because it's linear like this, the average voltage is actually going to be half. So it's half times the current times time. So power is V average times uh, the current there. So now it's going to be V on two because that's our half uh, average value there multiplied by uh, what we saw up here, uh, C V on T, the change in voltage over time and then multiply by time because we've still got that time component there. And then if you just rearrange this here, you've got uh, the, what is it, the, uh, the V's double here. You can't cancel out a V. So that's where you get your V squared. Your C just uh, remains like this and your T's cancel out like this. So you're left with uh, half C times C times V squared. Energy equals half CV squared. Clear as mud?